Good morning, and welcome to this service of morning prayer as we begin this day and this week praising God, the giver of our days and our weeks, who is with us always. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may please you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. In the second reading for this coming Sunday, the spotlight of Christian ministry is not on the people who carry out ministry, but on the Lord Jesus Christ. Just as God made light shine at creation, God makes the light of Jesus Christ shine in our lives through Christian ministry. The second reading is from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 3 to 6. Even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not proclaim ourselves. We proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Let light shine out of darkness. My six-year-old grandson has been learning about light and shadows in his science class. For example, for something to be visible, it must either be a source of light or have a light shining upon it. To create a shadow, you need a light source and an object. And objects can be opaque, meaning that no light passes through them, like a stone, transparent, where all light passes through, like a pane of glass, or translucent, where some light passes through, like a, like a lampshade. Where do each of us stand when it comes to the light of the gospel? Are we opaque and stop the light and create a shadow? Are we transparent and the light goes right through us, having no effect upon us? Or are we translucent, like the lampshade, where we absorb the light, but also spread it all around, sharing it with others? In these days where transparency is something that is highly praised, I would choose translucency. Something to reflect on. You have been born anew through the abiding and living word of God. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord, who makes every day new. 
Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation. For the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationships with others. And for the communion of faith in your church. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Have a great day today.